Hey you guys, Jen here for our third installment in our three-part series on what is a vinyasa, right? So go back to the earlier videos to get a little backstory and the beginning shapes of this three-part sequence, right? This plank, cobra, or up dog, and back into downward dog. Now, today we're gonna to talk about how do we either lift from the floor from our cobra, or how do we pull back nice and uh, this integrated, nice strong way back from up dog into downward dog. Now, why do we want to have that connection and strength? as we're moving and transitioning between these different poses. One of the main reasons is when we have that foundation of stability through our center, we take that into life, right? As we're moving and grooving through normal everyday life, if I have this stability, this mobility, if I have this ownership, of all of these different ranges of motion, I move with more freedom and ease. So I'm going to show you again what a vinyasa actually is so that there's no confusion as to those three part, uh, that three part sequence. And from here, I'm gonna show on the knees, pressing, jawline back, pull those hands towards the knees, I'm lowering with control. I'm pulling myself down instead of falling, letting the elbows do what they're going to do. Cobra pose. Everything's anchored on that lower back, lower body, and then back down. I'm lifting into tabletop or plank and back into downward dog. Now here is the plank version with chaturanga. I'm finding my full body plank, all those same points. I'm lowering down to chaturanga, sternum comes up, and I'm heading back in to downward dog. So let's talk about how do we come up well? How do we come up in a way that supports our low backs, supports our shoulders? That's another reason to get that movement initiated from the core, right? I'm supporting all of it. I'm not asking too much out of my shoulders. I'm supporting the low back, all of it. So here we go. I'm down into this cobra shape. Now what I want, um, I'm sorry, uh, down onto the floor. Now what I want to do is start with the ribs. I want to lift the ribs up from the floor before I even begin. What's that going to do? It gets my core ready, ready to support me and to move me, that's where I'm going to initiate that movement. Now from here, big inhale, the ribs connect, exhale, strong tabletop, right? So very often if we're not integrated from the core, here I go. I'm like a little bit of a, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, gummy worm <laughs> making my way up into downward dog. So once again, live from the rib, lift from the ribs, whoosh, Inhale here, exhale tabletop, and then you can make your way back into downward dog. Now, let's take that same intention, that same strength from our up dog back into downward dog. I'm starting to breathe. <laughs> this is a lot of work. <laughs> okay, so from here, you guys, you're finding that plank pose, lower body, upper body, jaw lines back, Elbows do what they're gonna do. I'm into my up dog. Now toes tucked or untucked doesn't matter. You wanna be able to do it both ways eventually. Now I'm pulling through the core. I'm getting my strength, initiating the movement from that center of stability, that foundation of support from that center. That's gonna help everything work in a really nice fluid, way. So there you go. Our three part series on a vinyasa. Hope you've had some moments of self discovery of learning ways to really personalize this for you. Enjoy. <laughs>